This is not the man I met. He is egotistical. He disrespects me. This entire marriage has been forced upon me. When you don't have trust, when you don't have that foundation, the relationship is over before it starts. I'm at my breaking point. He has a problem with spending. You have champagne taste on a soda water budget. Yeah, What's honey, going on? come on, champagne taste. <laughs> it's about the taste, not about the budget. You can't trust him anymore. The man that I married would never have done that. I'm not going to advise her to try to make this work because I think it's dangerous. I think it's gone beyond that. Here is today's case. This woman says her fiance has more room in his heart for his so-called best friend and his Jeep than he does for her. Is there something more to these relationships? Or has her imagination gone off-road? That's today's case on Divorce Court. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Faith Jenkins presiding. Your Honor, our virtual audience is filled with your super fans. Today's super fan of the day is Yvette from Chattanooga, Tennessee. We are so happy to have you with us today, Yvette. Your Honor, this is the case of Richardson Jackson versus Williams. Thank you, Juan. Miss <clears throat> Colette Richardson Jackson. Yes, Your Honor. You have brought Mr. Demo Williams. Yes, Your Honor. To divorce court today. I understand that the two of you are not married yet. No, ma'am. You are engaged, but you're here because you're having a number of issues and you're trying to decide if you are going to take that next step or go your separate ways. Absolutely. Okay, I'll start with you, Miss Jackson. Why don't you give me some background? Um, I love my fiance, I really do. Um, at the beginning of the year, he bought us matching Jeep Wranglers because he knew I wanted one, but ever since then, we joined a club and I just never see him anymore. He's always with other girls, always has other girls dancing on his Jeep, and I just want to make sure that we're solid before we walk down the aisle. What do you have to say, Mr. Williams? You're on a heavy day because of the fact that she thinks that I love my Jeep more than I love her, or that I'm out cheating with other girls, which is not the case. But most of all, she's just like, kind of like clinging too nosy hmm. for no reason. Why don't you give me some specific examples of what has happened? You said the Jeep started all of this? <laughs> yes, ma'am, the Jeep started all of this. He just spends all the time in the garage painting his Jeep, adding new music to his Jeep. We were supposed to have a Netflix and chill night, but instead he was adding 30 speakers to his Jeep. Um, I actually provided some evidence. I'd like to see this. Okay, is that you? That's me on the left in my Jeep. Mm -hmm. Very basic. He hasn't done anything to mine yet. But uh -huh. as you can see, his is bright teal Tiffany blue, which I do love. The mint green. Oh, okay. Beautiful cars. Thank you. And so you said that ever since he got the car, it's been all about that. Yes, it's all about the Jeep mods, the hanging out with his Jeep friends, and there's mm -hmm. no time for me. So pre-Jeep, you're saying he made me. time for you? All about me pre-Jeep. And what other evidence? I feel like he loves the Jeep more than me. Hmm. Who wanted the Jeeps in the first place? Whose idea was this? She did. She wanted the Jeep in the beginning because she saw one of her previous friends had a Jeep. I wanted a Jeep also. I got both of us a Jeep. The Jeep was basic when I got it, so, you know, you got to, you know, put a little spunk into it in order, you know, it look good with it. But what happened because you said he's using this Jeep to hang out with other people? Yes, I submitted evidence. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some aerial footage. Aerial footage of what, exactly? <laughs> it was Jackson. aerial footage of an event that he was at, a Jeep event. We all just partaking. Okay. As you can see, Your Honor, you don't, you don't see me nowhere in that video doing nothing. So what is this evidence to show me, Ms. Jackson? That I could be invited to these events, but instead he chooses to go to them without me. There are a lot of people at this event. Right, and was she, she was at invited? work at that time, so therefore she wasn't able to make the events. I'm an entrepreneur, I make my own schedule, so therefore I'm more free than she is. Mm -hmm. What's the purpose of these events that you go to? Most of them be like community service or just oh, you're out partaking the community. in fun. Yeah, we, we give back to the homeless, okay. back to school, to the kids and everything. What do you say is really happening? I'm gonna show you how philanthropic he is, Your Honor, because I actually submitted another video of evidence mm -hmm. of girls twerking on his Jeep. Are you familiar with twerking, Your Honor? Not, not Mr. Williams. He just said that they were giving backpacks to the kids. At that No, time. they were throwing backs at the kids. At Hello. <laughs> Let me see the evidence. So this was supposed to be a um, community service event, Your Honor, but if you can see the young lady dancing on his well, Jeep. As, you, know, as, as you can see, you don't see me doing anything but standing on top of my car, minding my business, not even recording, not interacting, doing nothing at all of a sort. But at the same time, my, my Jeep is like the main attraction. 
out of 400 Jeeps, I have the best ones, mainly because of the music or whatever. I have like a lot of speakers in my, my systems, like state of the art, whatever. So therefore, when, when, whenever I come out, I play a lot of music and it, it brings the crowd out. It's, it's the main attraction. So what was the service to the community supposed to be that day? I mean, that one was like a ATL Pride ride out. You know, we have a lot of LGBTQ and, and group with us also. So we just did a ride out for that. Well, who was the woman twerking on the Jeep? Yeah, who was the woman twerking on the Most of the people be random people I do not know. She just hopped on the Jeep. I mean, she was a, a little framed woman. But okay. on my side of it, Your Honor, as a woman, it's very embarrassing when you get those type of videos sent to you of your man. How is it cheating or doing anything wrong? I'm just standing up beside the car. Beside I would just like to see because, because Mr. Williams, you just appear to be in, in such close exactly. proximity. Exactly, minding my business, just, just standing like there to... looking. Okay. He should have been amazed. exactly looking. He should have been telling her to get off. This video went viral. My family has seen this. All right, my but it's also they see me this. drinking water mm -hmm. in 100 degree weather, standing Hydrated. outside of my car, doing nothing, sweating. Mm -hmm. Trying to stay hydrated exactly. in the midst of mm -hmm. uh, serving thirsty. the community exactly. that day. So the two of you had a conversation about it, but you said that things haven't really gotten any better. Absolutely, it just keeps happening. Um, there are multiple women that just keep coming up over and over that just pop up at events that he doesn't tell me about. For example. I threw him a very lavish birthday party, had all his friends and family there. The next day, we were supposed to all fly to Houston. I could not make it. I got very ill the next morning. Mm. I said, still go. Your friends already bought tickets. They already have um, <laughs> hotel accommodations, uh, club sections booked. I don't want to get in the way of your travel plans. So I'm laying in bed, looking at the Instagram stories, and I see a girl in the section with him, very close, very comfortable, looking like she's celebrating her man's birthday with her man. I've been on this girl for the last eight years of my life. I've never seen Prior her. Prior to her, whatever, the girl comes around. I didn't even invite this girl. This girl showed up on her own as a surprise to me in Houston. Mm -hmm. So why don't you call and tell me? I don't know how to tell you everything. I'm not a child. I, mean, I got to tell you everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. So she saw that on the Instagram stories because you said you have nothing to hide. You're right. And so I don't want to post the video on, on Instagram, mm -hmm. so it wasn't in the hide. Do you think he would really post a video on Instagram knowing you're going to see it if he was trying to hide something? I would hope not. Because but it's very it just, different when yeah. he doesn't know he's being recorded there. Absolutely. Obviously. Absolutely. But this is a situation where he's posting a video. Actually, I have evidence of the video just so you can see. She all got evidence from. of something. Why I am I not surprised by that, Ms. Jackson? Everything is evidence to you. Too close. Look at them, too close in the club, having fun. Not Why even, is she that close to him? Not close enough, because she in the frame. You posted that on your story, yeah, correct? On my birthday. So when she told you she didn't like it, she was too close to you, what was your reaction? I mean, she ain't gonna say nothing at that point. She'll wait till, like, days later mm -hmm. and bring it up when I finna... When I'll be like, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Instead of addressing the issue then, even though it's not gonna change anything, though. Mm -hmm. And I do have a witness, though. Who is your witness today, sir? Her name is Sierra Shadamar. Mm -hmm. She was my friend for the last 15 years. Okay. Your Honor, why was I never informed she was going on the trip if they're such good friends? Well, ma'am, it was a surprise. Because it was a surprise you. trip for my birthday. Your Honor, does that look friendly to you? As you can see, we were not intimately kissing. It was just our tongues tapping together. It wasn't a kiss. Right. It wasn't. It was intimate. What do you call it? It was, it, um... Let's bring in the witness one. I'm sure she has some information that's gonna crack this case wide open. I hope she do. <laughs> Mr. Williams. How are you, Ms. Shadamad? I'm fine. How are you today, Ms. Young? Thank you. I appreciate you being here today. I understand that you are friends with Mr. Williams and you've been friends for a long time. That is correct, Your Honor. Do you know Ms. Jackson at all? I've met her. Yeah, I, you know, I don't know <laughs> everything, but I, you know, I know who she is. She should. And what are you here to offer in terms of testimony in this case? Just to clarify the whole situation and what she has made it to be and what it's not. Mm -hmm. I've known Demo for, like you said, over 15 years. This is a close friend of mine. I date his close friend. We're just friends and that's it. Strictly platonic, that's it. There's nothing going on, Colette. We don't have any background, that's just it. So, Your Honor, why was I never informed she was going on the trip if they're such good friends? Well, ma'am, it was a surprise. It was a surprise you. trip for my birthday, so I didn't know she was coming either. If I was going to my male friend, friend's birthday, I would tell his girlfriend first. And this is what goes called on. Respect. I'm just on the sideline. It's called respect. You, but you're dating a friend of his? Yes, ma'am. And you think that she's stepping out on a relationship she's in with his friend? I mean, her man's not as handsome, so maybe. Or something. <sighs> I can't even go nowhere and do anything because she think everybody want me. Did your friend go on the trip? No, no, he, no, he did not come. Wait, your so Honor, your boyfriend didn't go on the trip? Right. But you went? 
I did. Why? Even though my boyfriend has a relationship with him, Demo and I have a separate relationship. Mm -hmm. And my boyfriend at the time could not go because he had other obligations. Mm -hmm. Your Honor, yes. can I submit some evidence? I do have another video I'd like to show you. Where'd you get this video? Instagram. Who knows? Where's Waldo? Uh, <laughs> Instagram. Let me see the video. Your Honor, does that look friendly to you? Yes, you do, it looks very Does that look like friendly. something you would do with your male friend? <sighs> your Honor, we, we was just drinking, having a nice time. As you can see, we was not intimately kissing. It was just our tongues tapping together. Mine and I, does that we, look like something a marry or a to be married man? To be married like, man, I mean, with his I, friend. I can't explain the dynamics of that, but it wasn't a kiss. Right. It wasn't. It was intimate. What do you call it? Um, no. Miss Shadamai, what do you have intimate. to say? Um, Your Honor, that particular moment, we're not proud of. We had been drinking all day. What does that mean? Everybody was drinking. Shots were flowing. At that particular moment, I, I, I still can't explain to this day, but it's put such a strain on my relationship. Oh, with really? Yeah. I, I would imagine. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. I mean, I, I can't, there's nothing I can really say about that. Okay, well, now I know that. why we're here. Well, now I understand why you're here. Mm -hmm. That's not something you do with your friends. I don't care how many drinks you've had and how long you've known each other. Mm -hmm. That's not something you do with somebody who is just one of your homeboys. And I can understand that. Or one of your homegirls. Right, Mr. Williams? Um... We I guess, yes, Your Honor, I, I agree with you on that. It really wasn't, it, it wasn't even meaningful. It wasn't nothing, though. It was actually something. Something quite Definitely significant. Was something. Actually, the two of you look very comfortable in that, in that video. Too comfortable, Your Honor. Almost as if it's not the first time oh, the, you've dealt uh, with each uh, other uh, in that you, manner. You, we're not going to do that. Listen, well, you did. already put too much strain on our relationship. We're not going to make it seem like and it's something more than what it is. And then she shows up on a trip as a surprise and don't tell nobody. Yeah, because that's my friend. Mm -hmm. I, listen, ma'am, I, if I didn't know you wasn't going to show up, I wouldn't have maybe showed up because mm -hmm. I know how you are about Demo. Mm -hmm. And you don't want nobody to be around him, but that's my friend. Well, I can understand why she's that way now. She'll just pop up to the location where I'm at and be like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just in the area. I'm just in the area. Like, oh, I didn't know you was here. She was tracking you? Yeah, she was tracking me like I'm an animal or something. Your Honor, I do have his location. Ms. Jackson, is this really how you want to spend the next 30 years of your life? If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. She acted the same way. Even old friends from the past, family members that she didn't know was family, they can just hug me and she'll be like, oh, why are you touching my man? Why are you touching my man? Why are you doing it? Why are you doing you it? Know why, what? You know, that, just no, I don't have stuff. evidence. At the same time, even Do you though have I, I apologize to her boyfriend about that, even just, you know, letting her know that, you know, you know my homie, I'll never go behind your back and do nothing shady, regardless of what the video looked like. It a really wasn't picture says nothing, a thousand nothing. words. It so paints with a that very being different said, picture. Your Honor, I just need him to prove to me that you he's said, faithful. Mr. Williams, a couple of times that that's no big deal. What if you saw a video of Miss Jackson doing that with with your friend? <laughs> 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 I guess it mean, I wouldn't like it. So, so now said, it would be important. It would mean something if the shoe were if, on the other if foot. If I didn't correct? know the dynamics of their relationship, yes, mm -hmm. it would mean a lot. Mm -hmm. But like I said once before, I have apologized. The apology is nothing without him proving to me that he can be faithful. But what have you seen after this? Exactly. Moment? You haven't seen nothing like, prior have, to what? that. You haven't seen nothing after that also, though. First mm -hmm. of all, we broke up for two days behind it. Because oh, two whole even, days. For two days for because two whole what? days because he didn't even have a good excuse. Thank, thank you, Ms. Shadamad. Thank you. You know, I know you have this lifestyle and you go to the parties and you're part of this club and you're a promoter. But at some point, when you decide to propose, and did, did you get down on one knee? Yes. And did, did you have a ring? I did have a ring. And you asked her to marry you? I did ask And you her. said it was a lifetime? Yes, a lifetime. You said it was a commitment? Yes. Well, when are you gonna start acting like it? I mean, I've been acting like it, but now that I, after I have done that, though, she's like, did a 360, so now yeah. it's just like, I can't even go to the store or hang out over the hours, mm -hmm. she'll just, pop up to the location where I'm at and be like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just in the area. I'm just in the area. Like, oh, I didn't know you was here. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, though, I found out that she was, like, sharing location with me. She was tracking you? Yeah, she was tracking me like I'm an animal or something. Your Honor, I do have his location. He had to accept it on his end. He knew I had it. 
Ms. Jackson, is this really how you want to spend the next 30 years of your life? No, ma'am. Tracking? I thought no. I was a lifetime. So, I don't think you need me to give you an answer. I, I think you already have it. And, and by the way, what you're saying about how unfair it is to you now, the way you're being treated, that is what happens when the foundation of trust is broken in a relationship. There is a price to pay. There are consequences. And that's why when you get engaged and when you decide to get married, it's such a big decision because it's a completely different decision about how you navigate your relationships and what you do. You don't start acting like a husband after you get married. You have to be act like that. And it has prior. to be consistent prior. You're right. And I did everything prior. Not everything. Not everything. Because that... 99.9. That... You don't have children together, right? No. Okay. W what is it that you want today, Ms. Jackson? I would like to reestablish trust and be able to work things out if I know he's gonna put in the work to do that. Because it takes work. If you think that he can do that, and you think that that can happen, it's not going to happen by you watching and being proactive and think you're gonna catch him in the act of doing something so you can stop yourself from getting hurt again. So that's a really big decision you have to make. Absolutely. Can I really trust him? Absolutely. And then on your end, it's not about what you say, it's about what you do. Why are you shaking your head? You don't think you've really done anything that wrong, do you? That one incident, I yeah. mean, that was wrong. I, I admit to it, that was wrong. But at the same time, though, I have feelings also, and I'm still a man, I'm still a human. But the way she treat me and, like, tracks me down and do all on that sort of stuff, she not innocent either, though. Why do you think she does that? Who knows? Well, Prior you relationships, know? prior for me. So you're saying that prior to that video coming out, she was already doing those things? I don't tell how long she's been following my location, pulling up outside. I can know. tell you the event that precipitated all of that happening, and I saw it on video too, today. Though. Thank but, you, Your Honor. So here's right. where we are, because you're you're not happy. You say that you, you I'm, I'm still happy, but I'm not happy with the decision I made prior to, you know, of course. My birthday weekend, but other than that, everything else is okay, but... You're not happy about the way you say you're being treated now after yes. that birthday weekend in Houston. So you have a lot of work to do because you have to... You, you're the one that broke trust, so you're the one that has to earn it back. Because I'm going to tell you right now, when you get married, things aren't going to get easier. You're going to have other issues to resolve. So if you're going to put in the work, you may as well start now. If you are not ready, because I'm not sure that you are. I'm ready. Now is the time. I don't care if the invitations have been mailed. I don't care if the cake has been ordered. I don't care if the deposit has been put down on the sanctuary. If you are not ready and you have doubts, you take your time and you wait and you see what work is being done in your relationship. Mm -hmm. You do it now before it's too late. That's why you came, because you didn't want to end up back here after the fact. Right. So, it's easy to fall in love. It takes work to stay there. The decision is yours whether you're going to put in the work and the decision is yours whether you are going to trust him again. Tracking him is not going to be the way to trusting him. You're going to have to let it go and see if he actually does the work. Good luck to both of you. The most important thing the judge said, in my opinion, is that we need to reestablish trust in our relationship before we move forward. I think whenever I'm drinking or out intoxicated, I need to be uh, very mindful of my actions, what I do and what I don't do. I will tone down my actions by taking off the tracking temporarily just to see how things move forward. And then if they move forward in a positive manner, then I'll make it a permanent thing. I guess I can be more proactive in letting her know where I'm at, who I'm with, and what I'm doing while I'm out. I see the relationship moving forward in a positive manner if he takes her advice. I can see me move, moving forward with Colette. I mean, maybe we can get married in the, in the future, but a lot of things needs to change.